Hey guys, we're back. Sorry we missed you last week. We hardly ever miss a show, but both RC and I were out of town. RC was speaking at an industry event in Kentucky, and I was chilling in Napa masterminding with some high-level producers from around the nation. Now, I love the events like the one that RC just went to, and I love hanging out with other successful players in the game. You get to see how other pros do it, and if you're smart, you don't talk too much, and you just listen to all the others and learn how they've succeeded at a high level. You listen, you learn, and then you apply. Challenge yourself to have this mantra every day and you'll be surprised how quickly you and your business transforms. Now the best way to do this is to write down the most important thing that you've learned every day at the end of the day. Try that for a month and then give me a call. I'll buy you a steak dinner if it doesn't work and you're not happy with the results. Now, speaking of success, listening and learning, coming back from Napa, one thing was reaffirmed and it's been reaffirmed so many times with me, it deserves to be shared and talked about. See, while in Napa, I was listening to other top producers and they were, just weren't loan officers, it was realtors and internet marketers, all, you know, all of them. And their success seems to come from one magic pill. One thing that if you do this, you'll crush it. Guys, I, I found it. The magic pill that we've all been looking for and I'm gonna give it to you right now. Four words that seem to contradict every self-help book you've ever read. Work your ass off. Ta-da! I found it, guys, so we can all stop searching. I found it. Work your ass off. But really, Inman dropped a quick article last week talking about Ryan Serhant from Million Dollar Listing, and guess what his takeaway was? I'll tell you word for word. What sets you apart, Ryan? He states, my tireless work ethic and high expectations for myself and those who work around me. Now soak those words in, guys, really all of them. Now I watch the show mainly because my wife does, and I didn't really identify with this guy Ryan until now, and that's probably because reality TV is sensationalized, but really, soak this guy's words in. My tireless work ethic and high expectations for myself and those around me. This is exactly to the T what I believe and the only way I know how to succeed at a high level. And as I said earlier, this has been reaffirmed my entire career by $100 billion producers, friends that have built and sold companies for millions of dollars, CEOs, top realtors, all of them echo these statements. My tireless work ethic and high expectations for myself and those around me. Listen, learn, and apply this. First to yourself and then to your team. Second question that Inman asked Ryan was, how did you get there? Ryan once again echoes a statement that I completely agree with stating, I worked my ass off every single day without taking a vacation and I positioned myself to utilize opportunities to their fullest extent. Completely agree. And again, the folks that I know all around the nation, I promise you, they agree with you as well. One caveat for me though, seek to find balance with your family. Now this can be tough if you have a million dollar work ethic, but it can be done. Opportunity is everywhere, every single day, it's everywhere. The question is, are you poised to take advantage of it and are you willing to take a hold of it? Now, RC was across the map last week from me and his takeaway was similar. I'll let the millennial marketer tell you for himself. Yeah, Hills is right. I was with some industry influencers and many others at the Kentucky conference and it was again clear to me that market disruptors are the winners. The folks that are willing to go out, they're willing to disrupt the market in a healthy, progressive way, they're winning. You know, it's no longer cool to be first to the space or be an OG in this game. You have to seek to disrupt this market in new and effective ways each and every day. You know, one thing that's very, very clear to me, being on the leading edge of technology, is that this market, it moves incredibly fast. And if you rely on yesteryear's methods to succeed, you really risk the chance of being lapped by market disruptors. These guys, they have a tireless work ethic. They're intently focused on consistently setting trends versus following them. Look, if you're watching and you say, oh, this is nothing new, you are right. This isn't, but for some reason, most of us don't wanna hear it and we certainly won't apply it. Guys, this is Oz. There is no magic wizard at the end of the freaking yellow brick road and there's certainly no magic pill. I'm sorry, I completely disagree with the magic pill theory and the four hour or whatever work week. Maybe after you spent years tirelessly building a super successful business, you can have a four hour work week managing it all. I don't know, maybe, but I just don't see it. At the end of the day, all you can control is you and your behaviors. One theory or thought process or goal all these guys share is this. Here's the top producer and here's the rest of the market. You don't have to outwork your competition by a mile. You need to outwork them all by an inch. Are you gonna be the guy or the gal that gets outworked? Are you gonna settle for the scraps left behind by the top producers? Or are you gonna work that much harder to become the realtor or loan officer or manager that you always wanted to be and know you can? Once again, that decision is on you. 